We have very little evidence on which to base some of the decisions we're making, but we have enough evidence to know that there is significant opportunity to understand it better um, in terms of, you know, particularly in the injury uh, literature, there's evidence mm. that estrogen affects joint laxity, for example, and um, kind of the, the structure of, of what holds our joints together and therefore injury rates uh, increase uh, in the premenstrual um, syndrome or when estrogen is high as well. Um, now, a lot of people will only have one severe injury in their life. The, the chances of them even at the time <laughs> occurring to them, when, when did that happen? Um, so it takes a, you know, mm. a long time and, and um, a lot of literature to actually provide the evidence. And then you say, well, what do you do with it? As a, as a high performer, you can't say, just sit down for a couple of days. Don't move because you're likely to be you injured. Can't you know, not that's not train for a few weeks. Yes. Um, so 